Dear students, I am Subha Bansiwal, Assistant Professor English, SBC Government College, Bhim. Today, I am. Uh, today, we will uh, talk about Jant Mahapatra's poem, uh, Lost. Uh, first, uh, I tell you about Jant Mahapatra. Jant Mahapatra uh, is uh, an Indian writer, in Indo-Anglian writer. He wrote his poems uh, in English as well as in Uriya. He translated many of his poems uh, from Uriya into English, and uh, uh, he wrote many volumes of poems such as Close the Sky Ten by Ten, uh, Swamvar, uh, A Reign of Rights, Waiting, Relationship, The False Start, etc. His a uh, volume of poems Relationship. Which was pub uh, published in 1980 uh, was awarded with Sahitya Academy Award in 1981. Uh, Jayant Mahapatra uh, won Padma Sri Award in 2009, but he returned this uh, this award in 2016 because of uh, some intolerance in Indian democracy. Uh, he uh, he also worked as a reader of physics in Ravinsu uh, College, Katak in Odisha. His uh, poems are uh, centered on uh, themes of love, sex um, and relationships. Uh, he also wrote his poems on uh, poverty and poverty in India. His, um, in this poem, Lost, he speaks uh, about uh, experiences of love and sex in which uh, a lover loses interest in um, physical relationship um, due to um, due to familiarity. Uh, Jant Mahapatra was influenced by T. S. Eliot, who was a, a well, very well known twentieth century poet. Uh, like T. S. Eliot, he also used symbols in his poems. Uh, this, uh, in this poem, he says, "Here I have learned to recognize you." In this poem, he presents the relationship between men and women and uh, their experiences of physical contact and uh, its result in sad satiety. Uh, he says that the experiences of physical relationship leads to sad satiety, uh, satiety because of familiarity uh, and uh, the lover uh, or or the man and woman feel um, dullness in their life. Here the poet says, here I have learned to recognize you at a distance. The evenings heavy the harp light wandering round the room i have wanted to know what lulling silence can bloom in my hands what pain and pleasure your mind can wear through the intrigues at my fingertips here in the first stanza the poet says here i have learned to recognize you at a distance he says to his beloved or his wife that he has uh, become familiar to he, to her and so he can recognize her even if she is in uh, semi darkness even if she is standing in semi darkness he can recognize he, recognize her uh, i have uh, the evenings heavy the half light wandering round the room uh, during the I have wanted to know what lulling silence can bloom in my hands. In the semi-darkness of his room, he uh, he has physical contact with his uh, wife or beloved, and uh, during that uh, intercourse, he he wants to experience. Uh, at that time, there is a lulling silence, and. Uh, semi darkness in his room and uh, he wants to ex he wants to experience the pain and pleasure 
uh, what pain and pleasure your mind can wear through the intrigues at my fingers he wants to experience he wants to know what pain and pleasure his beloved or wife uh, feels uh, at uh, at the moment of his fingertips uh, so he wants to know what exp- uh, what his wife or beloved experiences during uh, his activity in uh, in physical contact i watch your body is of the seasons stretched out on the stone of my bread going nowhere and he 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 watches the body of his beloved or wife uh, under the breath under his breath and he, uh, the body of his wife or beloved is stretched beneath him uh, like a stone uh, and still uh, it seems as if it is going nowhere and uh, he feels uh, it under his breath my uh, hands move on inside the lines on my moving palms uh, is it time being sent back to somewhere far behind on the ace of dream and his hands move on the body of his wife or beloved and he uh, he feels and he feels it and he uh, and he and he feel and he thinks that uh, many years he has dreamed of experiencing this moment and now he is experiencing experiencing this moment is it that which quietly shuts my eyes and this experience um, makes him lull uh, and uh, he begins to, uh, and do during the ecstasy in this experience of physical contact with his wife or beloved his eyes uh, becomes shut and outside my hands where your body keeps shrinking in space the first faith of some child goes wrong like some defect in a mechanical toy yet what does it lead to to what fateful encounter and after experiencing these moments uh he begins to uh, feel stillness due to familiarity outside my hands where your body keeps shrinking in space and he feels his the body of his wife or beloved shrinking in space um and at that time he feels as a, a child whose uh, whose toy uh has some defect um just as a mechanical toy has some defect and the child um begins to lose interest in that toy in the same way he begins to lose interest in the physical contact uh, with his wife or beloved due to staleness and familiarity yet what does it lead to to what fateful encounter and he begins to feel he begins to uh, realize that uh, what this contact with lead to uh like a misplaced watch this half light where was i when i lost it and in this semi darkness of his room he begins to uh, feel uh, where he was when he lost uh, lost that uh, that uh, moments of ecstasy uh, just as um, here he says that he uh, where he was when he lost his uh, where he lost or misplaced his watch here watch symbolizes his experiences of ecstasy uh, so uh, he here he uses uh, the symbol of misplaced watch uh, and uh, he also uh, uses a symbol of a mechanical toy um, uh, this in this way now jayant mahapatra uh, writes this poem on human relationship uh, on love and sex and he says that uh, the experiences of uh, physical contact uh, leads to sad satiety and dullness uh, and dullness this poem uh, 
in uh, this in this poem jayant mahapatra has not used capital letters in the beginning of the lines of uh, in in the beginning of each line and uh, and uh, there is no rhyme scheme in the poem uh, so it is one of the uh, very famous poem of jayant mahapatra uh, which uh, which is based on human relationship thank you